I'm so pissed at the dumb devil. My phone just went to home screen, blanked out, and I was talking about all of it. But you can't stop me, devil, from exposing you. You can't stop me from exposing you, Illuminati, Freemasons, Masons. I know you've been watching me for years. And you were never worried about me. While I was in sin, while I was smoking the weed, vaping, drinking, watching porn, you weren't worried about me, were you? But now you got worried. Some years ago, when I was living with my dad's former boss, Bob, he lovingly allowed, lovingly allowed me to come into his home and stay there for a period of time. Helped me get a vehicle. Set me up. Praise God, I love you, Bob. Now, I put all my substances away. Got notebooks I was writing. God was giving me prophecy. Family and people in general were making fun of me. Oh, he's too intense. He thinks God is speaking to him all the time. He waves his hand like he's God. That's the Holy Spirit, and I don't have to argue or explain myself to you because you're not going to tell Jesus that. Jesus is going to tell you when you get to him, actually, that was my spirit. You judged my servant, my anointed one. I sent him to help you. You rejected him. But you didn't reject him. You didn't reject Justin. You rejected me. That's what God's going to say. But it's a joke now, right? It's just entertainment. It's just look at him, this crazy dude, huh? Fine. Did the same thing to Noah before God destroyed the earth. He lovingly gives warnings because he doesn't want the destruction to come upon you. So why are you saying we're fear-mongering for telling you if your child is about to walk into uh, the Saco River, we're in Maine, any river, right, roaring, raging current and this and that, you know they're going to drown and die, wouldn't you say something? or jump in that river, even if you knew you were gonna die, your adrenaline would kick it, you'd jump in there to try to save them. Be like, yo, yo, get away from the river, hey, yo, yo, you're gonna die. Don't go that way, come this way. Right? So here's the point. Ah, yes, Illuminati, you ain't got no power over me, bro. Masons, Freemasons, yeah. So when I was living with Bob years ago and I gave away all these substances, Threw them out. I threw them all in the lake, bro. The Illuminati came to me and said, We'll give you any fame you want in your music. Because it's not public. It's just something I do on the side. I put some stuff out every now and then. In the past, I put most of my songs out. So I don't think I've necessarily wasted my talent. I've tried, you know. But they come to me saying, we'll give you any fame, any power, any money, anything you want. And, disclaimer, here's what they said at the end of the message. You want screenshots? I'll give them to you, bro. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't fooling around with people who don't believe me in this season. It's just you can go your own route and seek God for yourself, bro. But I'm going to the people that have listening ears and eyes. Because I ain't, I ain't got time for people that are mocking me and arguing and this and that. I'm going to be peaceable with you, but we ain't got no dealings because I have to stay on focused on ministry. I have to have some real life for once. I've had these cycles my whole life and I'm tired. Desperate. And it's time to be a man and make the hard choices when the temptation comes in. Especially you, man, as well. I'm speaking to you. I'm speaking to me, and I'm speaking to you, man of God. It ain't wrong to be a little passionate, be a little gung-ho when the enemy comes in. We're the ones that are going to protect the communities when war comes and everything else. You think this is a joke? No, you need to get a little fire up in you, man. This isn't a joke. What's about to go down? 
So years ago, when I gave up all my sin, the Illuminati, the great Illuminati, they said, we promise you won't have to sacrifice a family member either. Disclaimer at the end of the message. Oh, wow, stuff we've all been talking about that happens in our neighborhoods and everywhere. Woo, we're still crazy, but the Illuminati's still messaging me, saying, we promise you'll have all these things in the world, and you'll be a decision maker, and you won't have to sacrifice a family member. You tell me who's telling the truth. And then last night, my beloved grandfather, Praise God, the whole nation's been deceived, thinking this country was founded on God. It's founded on Freemasonry. It's been hidden from you. You've been taught wrong. Our kids have been taught wrong. I've been taught wrong in the history of schools. You have to buy a lot of these books or find it on leaked information just to know the truth. You have to humble yourself and seek Jesus and let go of your own ideas and opinions. And humble yourself. And just ask him, what is the truth? Is this guy saying anything that's real? It'll all come out and you're gonna feel st stupid and dumb at the end if you don't listen to us. And you're gonna be repenting to God, I'm so sorry for coming against your servant. I'm so sorry for not listening. And by then, it's going to be too late. You got an opportunity now to humble yourself and ask him. So three times years ago, they came to me. They said, we promise you won't have to have a family member. You'll have all the money you want, cars, this and that. What you want, basically. I told them to repent and stay away from me, but that the grace of God was even available for them if they chose to turn away from their wicked ways. But y'all better stop coming against us Christians because you don't have any power. Nephilim comes at me right and now. There's nothing to worry about while people are freaking out in Houston and all that. Oh, you want to go? You want to go? I'm trained, bro. I'm trained in the spirit. I'm trained in the physical. Nephilim, let's go. Let's go. Come on. I ain't running. Let's go! 40 pound man, let's go! Excuse me, 40 foot tall man, Nephilim, ain't got no power over me, bro. Ain't no stride of fear. Ain't worried about what's to come. Armageddon and everything else, there's so much I've seen. I just don't say everything, because people, people won't believe it. But anyway, as of last night, I'm explaining this, the founding of the country and Freemasonry and trying to give him this knowledge, which there's already a wall up. Like, oh, no, 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 no. Just won't even consider or go to Jesus and ask. Won't do it. Won't do it. Just wants to teach. No humility to ask Jesus. Oh, I might be wrong. Whoa. It's possible I'm human. Who would have thought? So I'm lovingly trying to explain to him that all this stuff is going to come out and you'd be surprised. They're all Freemasons. Numbers, 13 colonies, all these different things that even a lot of the artists, they always gravitate towards number 13. You know, do your research for yourself. You can, you can find all this stuff, bro. It goes deep. But here's my point. After years, they came to me three times and told them to stay away from me. They've been tracking me since then, just like I thought. They're listening to us. They're, they're watching us. And it doesn't matter because we have Jesus. I'm not worried about it. But this morning, after finally giving up my last vice of sin and fully getting back into the fire, because I feel the fear of God with this eclipse, it's a warning. Amen. And... Guess who started following me after I said all that stuff publicly? Illuminati 666 Brotherhood just started following me today. And guess who wants me to join them again? You ain't a threat to the devil when you're in sin. But check it out. They're back on me. The first day! The day that I gave up the sin! 